Rhapsody Ablaze. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome once again to a place with the word of God. And what do we have here? The Rhapsody of Realities, our messenger angel. I am Sister Heather Mukuna, and I'm not alone. I am with the prolific. Brother, excellent. I don't know why she forgot my name, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll forgive her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's always an honor to be with you on set. Amen. I'm grateful and thankful. Amen. Praise the Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, it's such a beautiful time to my life. But I was giving him the opportunity to, to introduce himself. But next time we'll do it right. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And our man of God has blessed us with a wonderful reading today. And it's called Leverage on Heritage. Praise God. Hallelujah. And our opening verse is from the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 32. And lest I didn't say before, it's Wednesday the 13th today, and it's day one of Rapathon. And how timely that we're also reading the Rhapsody on such a beautiful day. Hallelujah. And our opening scripture, Acts, chapter, chapter 7, verse 32. I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled and durst not behold. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. God. And pastor goes on to say, Though the word of God teaches us about greatness, being greater than another should never be your dream. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You are no one's competition. Mm -hmm. Your only competition is with your, with your past. Yes. Praise God. Yes. So you are building yourself up on your most holy faith. Hallelujah. You can desire to advance or su surpass previous generations in your exploits, but don't make it about greatness. Leverage on heritage. Let's hear what Pastor says about leveraging on heritage. He says, for example, the children of Israel could never imagine or pray to be greater than Abraham, Isaac, or Jacob. Their greatness was dependent on the greatness of these patriarchs. Jacob couldn't have imagined being greater than Isaac, he recognized that his blessings, his blessing came from being Isaac's son. Likewise, Isaac honored Abraham as his father, knowing that his own greatness stemmed from being the son of Abraham. So in Exodus chapter 3 verse 15, because I, I, I would love for us to elaborate, but I feel like Pastor explains it so very well, mm -hmm. you know, and there's nothing else that we can add, you know. Because everything has been laid out so perfectly. That's why we're so grateful for the for the messenger angel, for the refuge of reality. Hallelujah. You know, as pastor takes us on the journey of the word. And in Exodus chapter 3 verse 15, the Bible says, And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob hath sent me. Unto you, this is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Hallelujah. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob became his memorial forever. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is so great. Amen. Wonderful. Praise Wonderful. God. Praise I God. like that part where Pastor says, um, being greater than another should never be your dream. Amen. You are, you are okay the way you are. God Amen. has instilled in you, has installed in you, has put in you all the qualities, everything that you will need for life and godliness. Amen. So Praise you are God. good where you are. Amen. You should, there is no need for comparison. Amen. You are the best of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And what does leveraging mean? It means take advantage of, lean on. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. use that as your advantage. Mm -hmm. So it says leverage on the in, 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 of, on the heritage meaning that like you're saying it's not a competition that you say oh i am going to be greater i want mm. to but you take advantage exactly. of the heritage that they left us exactly. which is abraham isaac and, and jacob. jacob hallelujah Praise to God. Jesus. hallelujah furthermore pastor says the lord jesus is another example mm -hmm. god had promised david that his throne would be established forever 
That's found in Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 12 to 13. Mm -hmm. Read how Jesus was identified in Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. So even if you are... Uh, you are you have a, a, a achieved higher educational success mm -hmm. than your biological father. For example, remember that his role in bringing you into existence makes him greater than you. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> I love this because here Pastor brings us to humility. Mm. Honor. Be humble. The Bible says, before honor comes humility. Yes. You have got to humble yourself. Amen. It doesn't matter what you have become today. You yes. see, you've got to honor those that have helped you become. Imagine, mm -hmm. our man of God has trained us. Yes. We've got pastors, great ministers yes. around us and all that. Now, you don't become a pastor. I'm a pastor, right? Yes. I don't become a pastor today. And then the next thing I start looking at other pastors, when they try to lay hands, I'm like, hey, oof, to who? You know, the attitude has to be right. Mm -hmm. You see, the attitude has to be right. We are all members of his bones, of Amen. his body, and of his flesh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise so, God. in the spirit, we recognize authority. Yes. We recognize. It, it's like what Pastor said um, when he was teaching about uh, the, the adoption, of the sons of adoption. Yes. You see, how that, when you come to maturity, you start understanding certain things in the spirit. Amen. You relate with others in a humble manner. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And it doesn't have to get to the point where you then disregard um, honoring no. where the heritage has been set exactly. you know, by Hallelujah. our forefathers, which is Abraham. And that in that, that in that itself, we are great. Amen. Amen. Know, in their greatness. Hallelujah. As Praise great God. as you are, Pastor says, you are his product. Mm. You came from him. So that makes him greater than you for you to honor him the way God wants you to. Praise God. Recognizing this principle is vital. It's one of the reasons... We have great honor for those whom God sent before us mm -hmm. in ministry. Mm -hmm. Because without them, we wouldn't have what we have today. Mm -hmm. Through them, the scriptures have been preserved through the ages. They diligently protected and passed down these precious teachings, mm -hmm. the scriptures that guide our lives. Mm -hmm. So we remain grateful for what was done for us, leveraging our on our heritage praise, praise the lord god, god. hallelujah what a hallelujah. way to, to live life you know taking mm. advantage of the grace yes you know yes. that was bestowed on the forefathers that came before us the bible says and we are the associate of the god, god kind. kind amen participators yes <laughs> it says partakers of the divine nature. yes yes praise god. hallelujah so beautiful hallelujah. praise god brother excellent yes please can you take us through the further study the further study let's read from First Peter chapter 5, verse 5, and it does read into verse 6. Mm -hmm. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth, giveth grace to the humble. Wow. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, okay. that he may exalt you in due time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. So our promotion does not come from men. No. It does, come, does not come from the world. It comes from God, our Hallelujah Father. to Jesus. And with that, we will seal it very perfectly with a prayer. Hallelujah. And please repeat um, after me with Brother Excellent as we take this prayer together. Dear Father, dear Father, I thank you for my parents. I thank you for my parents. Spiritual leaders, spiritual leaders, mentors, mentors, and everyone who has played a significant role. And everyone who has played a significant role in shaping my life. In shaping my life. And making who me who I am today. And making me who I am today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the wisdom I've gained from them. For the wisdom I've gained from them. The experiences. The experiences. And the examples. And the examples. They have said to me. They have said. To me. Sorry. They've set they've for me. They've set for me. Yes, they've set for me. To live the victorious life. To live the victorious life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful reading that we take advantage, you know, of our heritage. And right now we even prayed. Yes. We prayed to thank God for the people that have influenced, you know, who we are right now, the greatness that you see. 
there were people that were surrounding us that God gave us, you know, good leaders. Yes. And we're so grateful. Amen. And most of all, we're grateful for a man of God, Amen. our pastor, our father, a Reverend Dr. Chris Kilome, DSC, DSC, DT. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I would like Amen. us to quickly just pray for our leaders in line Amen. with today's message. Pray for our, our, I mean, our viewers Amen. in line with today's message. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Masho Karabayansi Varande Ketorar Lek Balamendo Midira Karad Nebele Kemendra Diko Sanskre Bredi Kumelis Krobari Kisharadelikum Robaya Kaselemondo Koluboroska Rabaya Gask Telemendra Diko Shante Kolareska Dele Kemando In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We pray that there be no mixture in their hearts, oh dear God. Amen. For fleshly desires. Amen. Oh, that only your righteousness be fulfilled in Amen. their hearts, oh dear God. And that we walk in humility in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Honoring those that came before us. Yes. Honoring those that have been sent to be in charge of us, oh dear God. And lead and guide Amen. us in the way that we should go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Perhaps Hallelujah. you're watching us. And you're wondering, what are they talking about? How do I get this life? How do I live the way they are talking about how to live? You're asking the right questions, and today is your day. Amen. Yes, our man of God will lead you in the prayer of salvation. So take it after him, and as you take it, you will be born again. So we'll be right back. Let our man of God lead you to salvation. Hallelujah. If you've not been born again, If you haven't received this priceless salvation if you've not been living for the Lord this is your opportunity to get to know him I want to lead you into salvation the Bible way right now say these words after me mean them from the bottom of your heart and God will hear you Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised Him from the dead. And he's alive today. I confess with my mouth. Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. From this day. And by my faith in his name. I receive eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I am born again. I'm a child of God from this day. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I want you to know that according to the Bible, salvation is yours now. You belong in God's kingdom now. You're saved. Congratulations. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone who pray that prayer. At the name of of the Lord Jesus be named upon them from this hour Satan has no claims over them anymore they belong to Jesus Christ the Son of God I bless them with your word I bless them with your love with your grace I bless them with the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen Praise Glory. the Lord, hallelujah. The Lord. Wow, wow, wow.
congratulations. Happy birthday. I say Hallelujah. that once more. Happy birthday. <laughs> and so now that you've made the most important decision that you ever make in your life, this is the most decision that this is the most important decision that you ever make in your life. Mm. And welcome to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And we will not leave you without more information. At the bottom of, your sc- of our screen, there's a link below. Click on the link. There's a book called Now That You're Born Again. Now that, you, now that you're born again, then what? How do I go forward? How do I stay in this beautiful place? All the answers will be answered in that book. So make sure that you click on the link and you follow, you start reading. And welcome to the journey of Christianity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we've got more good news. We are mm-hmm. bearers of good news. <laughs> As always. <laughs> As always. Today is day one, one of, of the Rapathon. wonderful <laughs> Rapathon with our man of God, Hallelujah. Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. Mm-hmm. What a time to be alive. You ah. know, we are reaching out to the nations yes. to make sure that the word of God reaches every nation as the waters cover the sea yes so please do make sure that you do tune in and participate don't just tune in but do participate yes. and also make sure that you also make others participate yes. you know create a center be a part of it and you will be extremely blessed hallelujah praise, praise the, the lord, lord because the rhapsody of realities has been translated in 7858 known languages all around the world Amen. and be a part of it be a part of this time you know as we are written in the acts of the of the apostles because we are still continuing the acts of the apostles praise the lord hallelujah it's always so pleasant it's always so pleasant to be here sharing the word and i always say i wish i could always say that let us just dwell here let's build a tent <laughs> But we have to go. It is alright. And yeah. we love you, and we believe that you have been moved to another level of glory. And until next time, stay, stay ablaze, ablaze with the, the word. word. Hallelujah.